you all this is all of destiny and today my sister's oh going to be renovating my oh my I said I ain't messing with her unless she real, real fine. <laughs> you feel me? I ain't messing with her unless she real, real fine. Let's see. So today is Wednesday, March the 30th. And I think I collected a little bit of footage of a few things that we purchased yesterday. What's that? When you can't read? Oh, I was going to do voiceover. Oh, my bad. You right. Yeah. Yeah. Because they ain't sponsored it. Your daddy be teaching me to compare the prices. Uh huh. So, he told me you just be great. Don't do that. These match. Mm hmm. Well, the brand. Mm hmm. So, day one, we were in Lowe's. I was going to pick out the backsplash towels, but I didn't really see one that I liked. So, the next stop was going to be Home Depot. But I did want to at least grab a few. I think things. I got softener at home already. You ain't there. get your balls this. Why they cost so much? I saw some. Cause them the wool ones, ain't Target got better prices on this stuff too. Yeah, I mean you are low. Go Where ain't Target. nothing low, but the stove. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna try it. Oh, uh, Target. Yeah. Target. Target. Cut off the camera, please. Thirty. <laughs> Over. He thought that it was. <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> So after browsing the options at Home Depot, I went ahead and chose this white towel. We also grabbed some scrubbing sponges for the towel as well as the towel adhesive. This is the brand that we selected. So today is physical work is going to begin for renovating the laundry area. So I'm super excited. It's currently 121. The washer and dryer is getting delivered on Friday, which is April the 1st. They better not pull no April Fool's joke on me. Eight to 10 days is what I was told. So fingers crossed on that, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna be here on Friday, um, which basically gives us two days to kind of get everything done the way that we want for the laundry room. And the only other thing that's like a major to do for today is getting one of my evergreen trees kind of like retied and stood back up. When it was like an ice storm a good while ago, it kind of knocked it down. Girl, not both my batteries blinking. I just swapped one. If I get footage of it, then I'll show you all, but y'all know how I am about filming outside for safety reasons. This transformation is about to be lit. Y'all know my sister Boone, she's gonna do everything for me. If you all saw how she redid my parents' kitchen back home. So just to refresh your memory, this is the before and this is the after. I know she know what she doing. <laughs> Shout out to d for helping me out, okay? I do a lot of things around the house myself, but that, I don't think I can do it. <laughs> okay guys, so with the doors open, this is a before of the laundry room. Even though the washer and dryer is gonna cover this, I'm gonna paint, well, I'm not gonna paint, but this is gonna get painted. Got a few over here. Inside of here, I am gonna get bins to redo this space with. Clear bottles to swap out where that is. And then obviously, my laundry bin. Product empties, gift bags that I like to recycle and reuse. And over here is mostly like my candle and scent closet. That one is huge, I can't wait to light it. And then this just goes to Jeffrey, which is my um, robotic mop. The little changing pads and everything, his little brush, all of it. The backsplash is gonna go right here. Thought about doing something to the floor, but I'm not since the washer and dryer is about to cover that anyway. I'll probably do that like right before I sell the house. Nowhere near now. <laughs> hey y'all, this is all of Destiny and today, my sister's oh, going to be renovating my laundry yeah. room. Step one was to just basically empty out the space so that we could see what we're really working with. All right, you guys, this is the ceramic towel that we have. Um, It does come 40 in a box. And yeah, that's all I just said, just a box. I just got it so y'all from the store, y'all can see what y'all wanna get. Okay, so of the options available, this is the backsplash that I chose. It's white, kinda wavy, I was feeling it. Boone was against it. I'ma say that while we're at the beginning of the video. She was like, this is not the backsplash you need. I was like, I'm liking it, I'm feeling it. Boone was like, uh-uh, but I'ma let you go ahead and get what you want. <laughs> Keep watching so y'all can see like why it didn't work. It was really cute, but just not for the space. Extra items that we picked up are the traditional spacers. We also got the cleaning sponge, which you'll need to clean the towel cleaning cloths as well as this sealer to protect the grout and you just kind of run that along those spaces once you're done. We also picked up like this towel kit. I'll put a picture on the screen. 
I think she's using the spacers to connect everything to see what the measurement with the space would be. You got to get a sharpie. Yeah, I can get a sharpie. Tell me to put space between the wall and this tile so it's going to be grout line. I mean, a uh, caulk in between. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When everything's settled, it can shift a tad bit. So okay. I ain't going to make it like perfect size of this. I'm going to comb like the a smidgen in because, you know, I'm going to put the uh, caulk. Mm -hmm. so I wanted y'all to see how different time. it's looking already from the brown. That I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put all the dry down a little bit. Yeah. Do this one. So this is just the first coat. Obviously, oh. she's gonna do more. I'm scared. So this is the part of the video where Destiny begins to embarrass herself. I grabbed one of the little paint brushes. Bone was like, okay, you can start on that cabinet. I'll do the other one. After I was like painting, I was like, okay, I'm getting the hang of this. I think I can help out. I started rolling the cabinet paint onto the wall. Bone came back. She was like, what are you doing? That's not the right paint. <laughs> and I forgot to like show the paint they were using. Both are like white paints. So I didn't really mess up anything. It's just the cabinet paint wasn't for the wall. So anyway, we both agreed that it was like destiny. Stay out of the way. If I need you, I'll let you know, which is like not at all. I was just holding the camera mostly. So she's like wiping down the baseboards, wiping down the walls and everything to make sure there's not any dust that will get caught inside of the paint. She's doing like different things with the grout, kind of like concealing anything if it needed to be concealed. And she's just very precise with all of this. As I explained this process, I'm not a professional, so I won't be using like professional terms or anything. Neither is my sister Bone a professional, but she's good at what she does, okay? What are you doing? Nothing helping Bone paint. She with me. That's why I'm helping. Y'all can get scared me. She done always painting my flow, painting my wall. Look, painting my wall with the cabinet paint stuff. Joker don't know, do not sit down with light skin. That's all she good for. Sitting down with light skin. That girl can't help me. Ooh, Lacey, you're doing so good. Uh huh. And also shout out to my nephew, Mr. Lincoln. He helped out with this process as well. And here's a quick look at the brush that we were using if you all want to get that same one. So after the painting was done, I think about two to three coats on some areas, it was time to do the towel. So this is the towel adhesive that we'll be using. As best to my ability as I can explain this. She's gonna take the towel with that little applicator tool right there and she kind of smears it all over the wall, right? Not over the entire wall. She went like row by row and then she takes the side of it and she kind of like carves it out. Now what that do? Level it up. So this is the backsplash that I chose. Cause I know y'all was wondering like, why they not painting the whole thing? Cause backsplash is going on all of that. But I don't like it. When I picked it out, Bone told me I wasn't gonna like white on white cause that's not how you do backsplash. And the reason that I asked her is cause she knows what she's doing. This is not my thing. I should have listened. So now we gotta stop. I feel bad cause I like, I'm stopping her me away. But she said it's cool. I just hope I can get my money back for these. But this pattern is cute. It's just not going with what we were trying to do. Day two. So I returned the towel to Home Depot. It was no problem at all. And then we went to a different store. They had so much towel. I was like, oh my God. So we looked through the different options to kind of see what would go with the space for what we were doing. If y'all are not new here, then y'all know Destiny is kind of done waiting on things that are on back order. So even on some patterns, if I did like them, if it wasn't enough of it available for my dimensions, I just was not going to pick it. Really, really, really like that one. That's what you was talking about when you mix it. That's what I said, get the blue. That right there? Yeah. The price is much more crazier than what we were at first, y'all. I paid like $90 for all of those that we just took back. These are like $15.99 just for one. But what I was telling Boone is, I want to pay for what I want. One time only, my nails need to be done. So the towel that we chose is the Liquid Mercury Brick Linear Glass Mosaic Towels. They're $13.99 a piece. We got two boxes. Although these were like more pricey than the ones that I had returned from Home Depot, this is what I wanted, so it was worth it. And whatever you don't use, you can return to get your money back. I don't know where I would put it, <laughs> but I like it. They have so much stuff in here. So I'm back at Lowe's. I just need to grab two knobs and then I will be heading back home. I gotta hurry up because it's right now. Um, Boone is doing her own like version of this entire video. Mine is more so like the chopped up version of how everything went. So definitely check that out. 
I'll link it down below when she posts her video. She like rubs the towel adhesive onto the back of the towel, smooths it out a bit, and presses it onto the top. I decided not to like bug her as far as taking down that original one, especially because in the store we had seen where people mix their towels all the time. That's like a thing. So I was like, you know, let's go with it. <laughs> Mr. Lincoln was helping out. Like, get into it. That tool that she's using kind of cuts the towel for you, and it's like this net on the back side of the towel. And once you're satisfied with like the leveling of everything, you press it into the wall. My explanation of this makes it seem like, oh, okay, Destiny, you could have did that yourself, but no. No, I was not. <laughs> oh, the group chat is jumping. Oh my God. She takes those spacers and she kind of like lines those up as well. <laughs> Once all of the towel was lined up, like I said, I edited this, but it took a good while. <laughs> that first day we started at two o'clock. We didn't go to bed until like midnight. This day it was kind of the same Morning thing. tonight like, in here working. So thank you so much, Boone. I could not. Could not have done this, wouldn't even attempted it at all. This is where the towel has been applied, but it's not filled in between the lines and ridges yet. Just using like that little tool thing right there to kind of just smudge it into the cracks. You know what this reminds me of when we used to do the acrylic nails and I would poke it with that straw and then pack it and then file on so top. So Voice Over Destiny is sitting here watching everything come together. But in person, I was looking at it when she started smudging the, the towel adhesive on top. I'm thinking to myself like, boom, playing me right now. Like she heard the lady say that the total for this towel was $337. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Boom. she getting to it. Let me just put it out there. Let me let the girls know. This is not peeling stick. Don't play with side. Like she working over here, like working, working. Okay, yeah. Get into it. <laughs> what Bomi saying, y'all? Yeah. Get into it. And the towel is best to kind of let it sit for 24 hours, so it was perfect that the washer and dryer wasn't going to arrive until the next day. Good morning, hey y'all. It's all of Destiny. So today is Friday. April the 1st and I just got my call. It's like 11 o'clock right now. Well, I got a call from a different lady at first. She said that they were running about 45 minutes to an hour early. My window for my washer and dryer delivery was gonna be 12 to four. They're on the way to show you all the uh, finished results so far from day one to day two. And then I wanna put this whole little setup away so that it's not like sitting down and they be like, oh, what do you do? Cause I don't like to tell people that when they come here to deliver things. This is where we left off so far. I'm saying we, but y'all know I haven't done much actual physical work, but yeah. And she's just cleaning up just a few little paint stains, even though the washer <laughs> and dryer is gonna go over that. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I, I, honestly, I should be cleaning it up because I was <laughs> attempting to like assist with painting. So I was like, let me just get out the way. But she's cleaning up the mess that I made trying to help. So far, this is natural lighting, by the way. Also, the baseboards, because y'all won't be able to see the baseboards. They were like a hot mess earlier. Clean. We got the white. No stains on the wall anymore. Same thing on this side. I had to show y'all. It was like a bunch of scratches and stuff on this side. The baseboards, before the washer covers that up. Actually, see how white they are. Yay. If you keep up with the vlogs or the moving vlogs in general, then you all saw when we went to Lowe's together to browse in person and pick everything out. So I chose the Samsung large capacity top load washer and dryer set and mine is in the color champagne. So they're gonna bring in the washer first and then they're gonna bring in the dryer just based on the setup of my laundry room. And I did choose the washer with the impeller as opposed to the one with the agitator just based on like different reviews that I have read online. This is what I was curious about. If this is gonna bump the thing. Oh, it's no, not. Nice. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, wee. <laughs> <laughs> Next, they brought in the Samsung dryer, and 
once he hooked everything up behind the dryer they're going to balance everything on the front i thought i had this clip live but i mistakenly put it in slow-mo because i was going to let like them explain it he had explained what they were doing but i messed up my video kind of like balancing it out and one guy is adjusting on the bottom the other guy is kind of like he'll shake it a little bit when the guy tells him to and they kept doing that until it was basically balanced to where when you shake it it's not moving at all Let me collect my footage so Damn I can make it. some of my money back. Yeah, who it is? Period. Y'all, it looks so good. Man, that John Bus and fool. Cause one thing about it, you know, I mean, I've I've been it. You know what I'm saying? Papa just don't be knowing. Now. Let me show you. I do be knowing. That's why I asked you to do All this. Right. I knew you was capable. It looks so good. <laughs> I want to get a finishing piece, like a long uh, strip up on the hair. These are not scratches or anything. They opened it outside. How you feel about this? Try to control me, boy, you get dismissed. Mine is a light in here, fool. I'm going to put a flashlight in the back of my junk. It's a light <laughs> up in here. You know it be dark up in there. Looking for socks and going on. Mm -hmm. I try to get Wi-Fi so I can get out of here. Yeah, yeah, open it up. Let's see what's in here. says I need to run a calibration. It says that that is recommended. It's about to calibrate. One, two, three. You hear that? Tub rotates clockwise or counterclockwise for two minutes. When it's complete, it's going to be a zero on the screen. Then it's going to turn off automatically. How you hook up the Wi-Fi? Oh no, we got to get to the gym. Probably to check the cycle and everything. It probably notify you. When it's done and stuff. Yeah, I'm about to find out. Oh, thank goodness it's only half of the book is English. I'm a very hands on person, but at the same time, you want to take care of what you bought. So I'm definitely going to be reading through this. What if you get an application and say, Your clothes been sitting in the dryer for three days? <laughs> <laughs> Don't take them out. It's doing it. Oh, it's sinking. It's showing you if you want to put a blanket in how they suggest that you fold it. So once I had placed my order for my washer and dryer, I stopped going to the laundromat cause I can wait. I'm gonna do active wear first. I get excited when I have a lot of uh, active wear <laughs> cause it means I've been working out a lot. I'm gonna set it to active wear. Um, you can rinse all the way up to five times and then the spin uh no spin high all of that whether it's soiled or not it's got light all the way up to heavy you can do a pre-soak fabric softener smart control do you feel blah 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 twisting it back to active wear and just letting it do the settings for me this is what we would have okay let's see what it does filling up now i didn't see anything for me selecting the size of the load so i guess it's going to do that automatically for me oh i told them i didn't, I didn't peel all the film off y'all know youtubers be trying to go back and forth between youtube content and the actual video so i didn't peel all the film off but you know what i did peel it off straight up and down when you make instagram reels so i can't use the same footage on both i have to keep rotating the camera so they are telling me not to give disclaimers but if no, i don't understand it bad, so they know how it looks. but basically the active cycle is like yeah yeah so it's not like but i guess depending on the type of cycle it determines how it wants to wash so our first wash is complete again this isn't sponsored but my subscribers wanted to see like my first use. I saw some comments where y'all were like, oh, document it. So that's why I'm doing this. I'm gonna put the dryer on the exact same setting, active wear. Active wear is 35 minutes. I'm gonna do two dryer sheets. Start. And we're dry. Washing, I thought it was about to add more water because I heard it start and then it stopped and then it started filling it up with more water. That's not enough water. Okay. First wash for our active wear is complete, dry, smells clean, we on point. So I'm just gonna basically sit here, fold the laundry, watch episode six, 
season two of Bridgerton on Netflix. That was nasty. What's nasty? Bridgerton not nasty. Yeah, just to here now. It looks sad. They don't look sad. That's just a preview of another show since I had paused it. In the meantime, she's sinking again, which means another low is complete. I put a lot of clothes in here and it's not even full yet. That's what's crazy. Wow, I'm gonna love this. Oh my God, day one first impression, I'm loving it. I love the look of it. Love everything about it so far. Right, so I'll just take a pinch. Just a small amount and drop it in. See, they coming to the top. They learning now what time to eat. Good job, Lincoln. I don't know why she doesn't eat. Oh. The pink one. Pink? I don't think she like it here. No. She always just sit there. Maybe she sleep. She looks sad. She doot on it. Yeah. And I chose her first. Why don't you eat? I think I took her from her family or something because she be mad. They still need names, y'all. I'm tricky. Okay, so now everything has arrived from Amazon. I'm going to do a quick haul for you all. And everything will be linked down below. So I got three of the Anchor Hocking Glass Pictures. This is the 64-ounce one. I picked up a four-pack of the wool dryer balls. Um, these are $6.99 compared to like the crazy prices that I was seeing in stores. I also got one of these acrylic tissue box dispensers. But I'm going to put dryer sheets inside of mine. The minimalist laundry room labels. You get 12 of these. They were $8.99. And I think that will be cute to like label everything. And also we got that little additional piece that Bone wanted to add to the bottom for like a finishing touch. The laundry room signs, like the little canvases that you all see, those are in my old laundry room, so I don't really remember where they're from. And the hangers, I think I picked them up from Home Goods. So I went to Walmart to pick up enough items that I would need to fill everything. If you all choose the same pictures that I have, make sure when you apply the sticker, like your label to the side, you use the side where you can actually pick it up to grip it. Cause I almost put mine on the wrong side. And as far as like the secureness of the lid, cause I was looking at it online, like, is this secure? Is it not? It's definitely secure. Nothing like leaks out or spills. So I like these a lot for the laundry room. So I have some of these little trash bags because everybody was like, oh my gosh, you use grocery bags for trash bags. I'm recycling. Y'all need to start doing the same. This was like a dollar and something. So these are the Stay Fresh pods that I ordered from Amazon for the type of toilet seat that I have. I have the Clorox antimicrobial round stay fresh scented plastic toilet seat oh my god i got it from walmart but it is available at amazon i haven't seen the stay fresh pods at walmart so i just reordered mine from amazon when i need them but basically when you let the lid up because this is over on that inside portion on the back of the toilet it makes it like smell so fresh it's a clean clean <laughs> Just my quick little impression so far on my dryer sheet little dispenser. Um, I think the way the dryer sheets are folded naturally, they're not in that S pattern for where when you pull one out, the other one pops up immediately. So once this set runs out, I'm going to see if I can find the right type of fold for those. But I love the organized like look of it.
time for the finished look, the lingerie room tour. A quick look at the before, need I remind you. And now it's time for the after. This is what we have. This is the after. I love the way everything turned out. A complete transformation from what it looked like in here before. Especially with me kind of using this as like my little store all room while the washer and dryer wasn't here. But I love the way everything turned out. Shout out to my sister Boone. This is the drum light on the dryer. It's like on a little timer so it will go off after a while. If I cut off the light, y'all can see the light on the dryer. And I got my black hangers right here for when I wash something delicate that I may not want to put in the dryer. If I wanted to air dry, I could hang it up there. Or if I kind of want to fold and hang things at the same time. So let's go ahead and dig right in. Inside of this one, I have the detergent softener and then the bleach. On the second row, I have an extra thing of paper towels, the scent booster, and then the cups if I want to measure out something. Washer booklet. I have my fabric shaver when you get those little beads on your clothing. The Clorox packs that I really haven't tried yet because I'm testing out this new product. It's not new, it's new to me though. White Bright. And when you read the instructions, it says you can't use this with like bleach or Clorox or anything. But when I try it out, I'll let y'all know. Everything as far as like any fragrance around the house is in this one when I need to grab that. Additional products for the uh, robotic vacuum pads. These are like um, Velcro. You just take it off and put it back on your little robot for him to mop around the house. I always like personify it and make it like him, her. <laughs> Extra filters. These are my garment bags inside of this one. If I need to wash like bras or anything delicate that you don't want to throw directly into the wash. This one though I got recently at Walmart. It's a little bit smaller but it's perfect for like folding your bra cups together and just like putting it inside. Then to let them dry, I hang them right here. Some bras, they don't recommend that you put those in the dryer. It's a tour, my bad. <laughs> and then in the center in here, um, is just the trash bag. So, and I'll just like pull as far as the, prepara the preparation and just rip that out. So that is the washer side. And I think over here is just another, yeah, for my iRobot, two extra cleaning pads for that. So that's the washer side. So now we're going to swing over to the dryer side, which is going to really go really quick. So I still have all of my candles in here and then my lint roller. This is just going to challenge me now to not get more candles than what my two shelves can hold. On the last row right here, I just have the dryer sheets. Behind that, I'm just keeping the uh, vacuum tray for my Bissell, the robotic vacuum, so that I don't have to have it just out around the house. Dryer balls are inside of this one. And then the booklet that goes to the dryer is on the bottom row as well. If I ever need to like read something again. Now this is the backsplash up close. I really love the way that it turned out. Like love, 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 love it. And that's what I was telling you all about the bottom part where she was going to put that long one to make it look more complete. We need to get one more of those, but nobody can't really notice over there. Y'all know now because I just told y'all. So the only other thing I want to do, those two pictures that I was showing you all, I kind of just set them back here while I decide. I have space over here on this wall to hang one and then I could have space on that wall to hang the other one. But I do want to get like an ironing board and an iron to go in here. I saw the kind where you kind of mount it on the wall and I don't want to like hang something and then have to take it down. So I haven't hung that yet. If I don't do that, then this is just going to go one here, one there. The only light is the one that's in the hall portion right here, but it's not a light actually inside of here. So I may get some kind of LED light either to put inside of the cabinets or maybe I'll stick one up top like underneath. So that is pretty much it. That is start to finish how this laundry room came to look just like this. I love the way everything turned out. I'm going to link everything that's linkable down below for you all. My version of this transformation is like the chopped up version. My sister Bone is going to have the more in-depth version of how she did like the actual labor portion of all of this on her channel so i'll link that down below when that video is available definitely be sure to subscribe because we're going to be transforming my film room next like i gotta get it together in there questions and comments be sure to leave all of that down below and as always thank you all so much for watching i almost went to jail once yeah but I ain't catch me. If a nigga, I be kicking my pimp. All this sauce that I'm dripping, got a ticket for litter. See the realest nigga walking when I'm looking in the mirror. Shout out to God, he blessing me. When you ain't around, she be texting me. Got blue tips for anything.